M80s, cherry bombs, uh, ash cans, bottle, rock, bottle rockets. So Dawson lights it. We take off. <laughs> Mailbox explodes. There's burning paper metal going everywhere, right? Six months later, we're at the gas and such, and there's old man Slattery. He's getting arrested in the parking lot. Bench warrant for not showing up for jury duty. There was a jury summons in the f- mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the war criminal. Hey, you're hungry. I'll buy you a meal, man. You know, about the homeless. This is the guy that I was talking to about. You know, uh, you and my friend Emmett here, you actually got something in common. Both play college football. Old Emmett here was Georgia State starting tight end for three years. According to your records, you played one game for Army. What happened, man? You couldn't hack it. They kicked me off. What for? Being too violent. You're interrupting our lunch. Let me ask you something. What kind of man are you? A stupid man? A bitter man? Are you just an insecure, spoiled rich boy hiding behind daddy's money? It wasn't a rhetorical question. I really want to know what kind of man enjoys intimidating a woman half his size. A woman who, by the way, is beyond intimidation. I think I know what kind of guy you are. You're the kind of guy that knows things. You knew I'd come after you when I saw what you did to Roscoe. You knew I'd see your truck right outside. A work truck whose bed's never had anything in it other than a keg. And you knew I'd come in here and cause a problem that would most likely get me in trouble. I know what you don't know. What's that? What it feels like when I hit you. Because if you did, you never would have picked up that paint can. Okay. Now let me tell you something about Roscoe Conklin. That little Conklin. <laughs> business when this guy came in and started tearing up the place. Thank you, Earl, for being a good citizen of Margrave. Detective. Roscoe, take a reach outside. I'll see you soon, Junior. 